So we are back with another How Divers 2 video and today guys we talk about some brand new elites, some interesting things too, an incredible new anti-air, anti-enemy air stratagem which we have a little bit of footage of. We have a new Warbomb banner for the releases very soon and we'll get into the release date of that. We have a new hotfix which dropped probably about an hour ago now. We also have a brand new cape that they are giving you for absolutely nothing which should be waiting for you in game and more so let's go how's it going guys my name is dpj now the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credit giveaway can be seen on screen now if this is you hit me up on my discord link down below now, do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of this game for you or a friend? It's simple. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Let's try and reach 16 likes. That would be incredible. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications on and leave me a comment down below. I will, as always, pick a comment from the comment section of this video and announce the winner on tomorrow's How Divers 2 videos. It's as simple as that. So good luck, everybody. Also, if you want to come over and join my Discord, also link below. There's giveaways all the time over there. Also, find people to play with, chat about the game with, all that good shiz. But let's go, guys. Let's get into this video. So, I was woken by a notification on Twitter from Howard Ivers stating, Support incoming. We've issued a patch for players that addresses a crash when accessing the acquisitions menu. And that's basically what this patch is. It fixes a common crash, which would occur when accessing the acquisitions menu. That's basically all we get guys. So it's more or less a little heart fix, not even a major patch. But yeah, hopefully this uh, sorts of issues I was having out. I mean, the game constantly crashing for me, it's lagging. I'm actually blaming my PC at this point, but I'm gonna jump on uh, in about an hour or so and try and liberate, try and spread that democracy people. So yes, that is what we got here. Now they also tweeted out not long after that, which you're seeing on screen now presidential decree the president of super earth has officially recognized this day as marvel and creek memorial day this week in remembrance all how divers will be issued a special commemorative cape so they may carry the memory of their fallen companions into battle now a little bit more information was dropped over on their discord and it just basically states please be patient while this cape is delivered to your destroyer and wear it with pride so yes guys by the time you log on there should be this brand new amazing looking cape waiting for you so that's very very cool indeed okay so we're now going to move on to a few leaks and some very very interesting things here but if you do not want to be spoiled people leave the video right now and i appreciate you stopping by okay so first things first we had this image drop over on the hell divers leaks reddit by lawn recon uh, basically showcasing a new stratagem called the airburst rocket launcher now he states he can't call it in game because it crashes the game which makes sense it's probably a placeholder at the minute and the actual item hasn't been finalized in game so it won't allow him to use it but we also got another post by the legendary mouse ttv which showcases that mini clip you see when you're in that stratagems menu of this rocket launcher in action and you're seeing that on screen now and this thing looks utterly brutal look what it is doing to all those air enemies it is destroying multiple with a single shot it kind of reminds me of like a, a cluster bomb uh, you fire it once it's just like a banana bomb from worms do you remember them they just you fire one it explode and just explode multiple times like those amazing like chinese firework shows you see on twitter so yeah this thing looks absolutely incredible now why i actually think this will be an anti-air weapon for the simple fact of uh, the what well, it's called it's called uh, air burst rocket launcher i mean yes you'll probably be able to fire it at ground enemies but i think it needs to be in air to get that air burst that multiple explosion don't quote me on that i'm just guessing here just theorizing here but that's kind of what it gives off to me i mean if you shot this into a massive group of enemies underground and it did the exact same thing it would seem a little bit overpowered i mean everyone would be shooting straight to this from the quasar cannon straight to this but yeah i do think it's going to be one you need to fire into the air and it's hit an enemy in the air and then it will explode into multiple mini explosions and do that sweet sweet aoe damage which you're seeing here so yeah pretty pretty cool people okay so next up we have 
a banner from the new war bond, the premium war bond, which is coming very, very soon. Now, this was uh, dropped by the legendary Iron Sights, whose Twitter can be found linked below if you want to check him out and show him some love. Now, what this is, this is the war bond, the premium war bond, the democratic detonation with the crazy looking armor, which we've seen leaked quite some time now. Now, this war bond is believed to drop April 11th which I will check. I think that's next Thursday. Yes, it is indeed. I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's when it should be dropping. So you're yeah, not long to wait whatsoever. And the best thing about these uh, is simple fact that it doesn't overwrite the previous uh, premium war bonds. You can just buy this and do this at the same time if you want to. So that's what I absolutely love about these things. So yeah, this is going to be absolutely great. And don't forget, guys, I'm giving away 2100 super credits on every single video. And yes, I announce my winners on every single video too. My giveaways are 100% legit. And if you don't believe me, you can check out my Discord again, link below. There's a giveaways tab. Everybody who's coming from my videos to my Discord is there for you to talk to and ask if you do not believe me. Yes, there's a lot of people out there that do fake these giveaways and never actually give anything away. But I'm not one of those people. Although I do see some people questioning them in my comments section. But hey, it's quite simple to figure out that they're actually real. But yes, this new war bond banner looks absolutely incredible. Again, democratic detonation. Okay, so now we're going to move on to another audio leak. This is a very, very interesting indeed. This is from Mouse TTV, and it's in game audio, of, well, basically breaking news of an Illuminate ship spotted. Pretty cool. If you want to take a listen, I'll play it out on screen now. The audio is only like 45 seconds long, so take a listen to this. Good evening. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. What you're looking at here is recently released footage from the Ministry of Defense showing an interstellar object that seems to resemble an Illuminate void ship. The Illuminate have long been considered eradicated following the First Galactic War. But this video is causing some to question if any somehow survived. Officials say they have not yet confirmed whether the object is truly Illuminate in origin, but that they are considering all possibilities. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. But yes, guys, there we have it. Pretty cool. Now, we know the Illumina are coming. It's just a matter of time. Now, there's been so many data mine leaks on this enemy faction from Helldivers 1. So, yeah, just a matter of time now. And there we have it, guys, for another video. Guys, if you did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Remember, if you want to come over and join my Discord and help spread democracy across there, my Discord is linked down below. But, guys, thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.